Uh, dear students, uh, welcome to the next session of RA online. So, I am uh, Dr. Mitra, Associate Professor from the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics and we are going to see a short topic today which is cavity liners, bases and varnish. Uh, a short topic but at the same time important and interesting topic. Okay. So, this is most commonly accept, uh, uh, expected as a short note question for you from the exam point of view. So, coming to the contents of uh, today's class, uh, we are going to see a brief introduction and then we are going to see what is the definition of cavity, liners, bases and varnish. Then we are going to see the classification, the composition, the indications, how you manipulate the material, what are the properties and what are the clinical applications and uses. Okay. And one important short note, we are also going to see what is RDT, which is nothing but remaining dentin thickness. Okay. Now, uh, coming to the introduction. So, basically you have to protect the pulp. Okay. So, the pulp is the most important organ of the tooth. Okay. So, we have to protect the pulp in various ways. First is the chemical protection. Okay. You have to prevent the pulp uh, from being exposed to any chemical irritants. Okay, you have to protect, the, give the pulp electrical protection in the sense galvanic shock. So, when two dissimilar metals rub against each other, for example, if there is an amalgam restriction in a lower molar and if there is a gold crown in an upper molar, imagine 4, 6 and 1, 6. Okay, so when there is a contact in between two of these dissimilar restorations, what happens? Saliva acts as an electrolyte. When saliva acts as an electrolyte, there is a completion of the electrical circuit and the patient experiences a severe pain. This is called as a galvanic shock. So, we have to protect the pulp against this electrical stimulus. So, that is electrical protection. Thermal protection, yes, you have to protect the pulp from a passage of heat or cold. Supposing you have a metallic restoration like amalgam. Okay, you have to prevent the transfer of direct heat or cold stimulus to the underlying pulp. Yes, next is a pulpal medication. Supposing there is a very deep cavity, okay. So, directly you cannot give a permanent restoration. If you give a directly a permanent restoration, it will result in the pulpal death or pulpal necrosis. So, you have to apply the air of a, a medicament like a calcium hydroxide and you have to protect the pulp. So, that is your pulpal medication. The last one is the mechanical protection. So, when you are placing, uh, when you are doing a class 1 cavity in a lower molar and you are going to uh, place a uh, a restoration like amalgam, you need to uh, protect the pulp from heavy mechanical stresses. Okay, so these are the five types of protection that we need to give to the pulp. Okay, fine. So what is this liners and bases? So liners and uh, bases are materials that are placed between the dentin and sometimes the pulp and the restoration to provide a pulpal protection or a pulpal response. So this liner or base is placed in between the dentin and sometimes between the pulp and the restoration. Either it is placed between the dentin and the restoration that is your pulp is here and your dentin is here. So, it is placed between the liner or base, it is placed between the dentin and the permanent restoration on top or sometimes it may be placed directly on the pulp and the restoration on top. Okay. 